Hello my friends, welcome to Dave Skillet. Today, it's not really a recipe so much, but we're gonna make some guacamole. I know you like that. So, we'll right over here and show you how it's done. Cause it's gonna look like that when I'm done with it. Yeah, it's good. So hang on and let's get over there and do it. I gotta dice up an onion and some tomatoes. I'll just cut those probably in halves or maybe quarters. We'll see. Depends how small I get them. I need them kind of smallish. This onion's perfect. It's been sitting out for about two days, so it's not chilled, it's room temperature which is what I want. Make sure you wash all your produce off. I've already washed the tomatoes off, so that part's done. Yeah, you got like a black root thing going on, so. I don't want those. I'm picky. I'm damn picky. I can't help it. But there we go. So. I don't need a whole bunch of this onion. I think two slices will be enough. So I'm not going to go to any real trouble with it. Well, I want that root out of the, out of the picture because that can get a bit funky. I don't want that. So out with the root, the stem, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put that out of the picture. Yeah, I think that's enough. I don't think I need any more. <laughs> It will take some time. Now, we'll cut up some of these. I'm gonna make them smaller, I guess. I gotta make them smaller. I'll cut them again. Check the, check the check. Yeah, I don't want that. I've been trying to make this last couple of days, but just didn't have the proper ingredients that I needed. And then I didn't have the lime. I was like, okay, I gotta go get a lime. Not sure how many of these I'm gonna actually need off the top of my head. Maybe a half a dozen or so, something like that. But you'll see what I'm doing and then you will get exactly how many you need at the ready and then you don't have to worry about that learning curve thing going on Ooh, that was close we got a good one here I'm saving the rest of those tomatoes for a pasta sauce I get inspired sometimes by Italian chefs. Vincenzo's plate, I watch that a lot. Cause he got some good 
some good stuff going on. I don't copy him necessarily, but yeah, I get inspired by certain ones. I like his show. <laughs> he really kicks Gordon Ramsay's tailpipes. <laughs> I'm like, okay, but if Gordo gets it wrong, he's taking his own artistic swing, chef swing at, at recipes. He can't very well um, say, well, this is how it should be made. And, uh, okay. Time for the avocado. I need a spoon. If I use two, I go one at a time, you know. I think that's the best way to do this. Although I'm gonna put half of this lime in there. Half a lime. That's my measure. Half a lime. Okay. Now, gotta wash that off here. And we just start in on it. Yeah, I think it's gonna need the second one. You know, it's just looking that way. Needs to. It's been a long time since I made this stuff. So it needs two. Okay. Definitely. So. Here we go. This one looks a bit funky here. I don't know what you think about all that brownie stuff in there, but that don't look that don't look good. So I'm going to skip around that stuff. I tried to skip around. Okay. It just didn't look very eye appealing. Don't, I don't want to wind up in the bathroom for the rest of the day. You know why. Will Montezuma kick your butt. And you'll know why. Okay, look at that incorporated. I, I wish I had two more avocados. Honestly, this is going to be a bit shy. But I'll have to make it work. It's looking okay, it'll be all right. Gotta add a little bit of water, not much. Filtered water, not sink water. 
That's about a tablespoon of water I just put in there. I won't add any more. That's, that'll do it. Because I want it to get creamy. Creamy dreamy. I gotta add some pepper to this. A little bit of salt, maybe, but I gotta taste it first. Oh, excuse me. And I gotta put my chili flakes in it. That's for sure. Give it a little bite. I'm not even sure I'll use that. We'll see. If it tastes good, I probably won't. Now I need my spoon. Okay, wish me luck. Yeah. Yeah. Put the rest of that lime in here. Almost. I don't know if it has a seal or not. Yep, it's got a seal. And that's even better. Get some lime salt. I got this online. I went through Amazon. Sometimes, some way you can get it. You can probably find it in bar supplies if you got like a liquor store. They might have it. But I'm not gonna say they do because I went to a whole bunch of them places. They did not. And then after I bought it online, of course, that's when you find it, right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Mm. Needs a little bit more moisture. It's drying out. So I'll add the rest of that line. I don't think I'm gonna use Mr. Guacamole seasoning mix. Because hey, it works. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. There's some avocado chunks in there. I'm going to break them down. I'm not going to use the mix. So, mine's pretty damn good. And I don't think I need to... Um, need to do that. Don't need to add the mix. I'll go over that in a second. Okay. Oh yeah. Ah. That's got to go back in the fridge and that one too. That can go with it. Their dinner. 
So thanks for watching. Bon appetit. As always, like and subscribe down below. Appreciate it. All the help you give me helps out a lot. Thank you very much.